Welcome to this um, introduction to OneDrive. I'm just going to go through some basics to get you started with the online storage that you can use via your college um, email. So log in to Office 365 like you would do from home. Um, so where you access your emails, etc. If you go to the top left hand corner, you can see that there's little dots. If you click on that, then you'll see that the apps all come up that are available for use at home. Um, one of which is OneDrive. So each of you have one terabyte of storage through your OneDrive. Um, today I'm just going to show you very quickly how you can upload your material. Um, now the version that I'm showing you now is running through a browser. So you can download the OneDrive app. It is available obviously on PC um, and it's also available on the Mac but I'll, I'll explain a little bit of the issues regarding the Mac version of OneDrive. Um, I'll explain that at the end. So to um, first little tip, it's always best to create a folder. Um, so I'm just gonna upload some of the designs that I've done for the corridor. So I'm gonna put displays 2020. Okay, so I'm just gonna create this folder really, really easy. So there is my displays 2020 folder. So I'm just gonna click on this and then from there, I am going to just upload a file. There we go. So as you can see here on my desktop, um, I have my posters for the corridor. So I'm just gonna click on this, choose that, and then that should allow me to upload that to my OneDrive. So there it is. It's only a very small file that I think it was like 1.4 meg. If it is that you're dealing with um, a larger file size, it might take a few seconds, if not a few minutes. Um, so this now is in my OneDrive. If I go back to my files, yep, so I'll go back to my display, you can see that it's there. So now if I was to log off my computer, go into college on Monday, log onto my OneDrive um, in one of the art rooms, you'll be able to log onto your OneDrive and have access to that file. So now that you know how to upload a file, um, I'm just going to show you very quickly how to download it. It's so simple. So um, one of the features that they've just introduced, actually OneDrive, is the ability to download a whole folder of files. Um, you've not been able to do that for a very long time through the browser, but now you can. So say, for instance, I wanted to download everything that was in my lower six file or my upper six file. I can just click on that and then click download and that would go to my downloads on my laptop in this case. Um, you can also copy a link so if you ever wanted to share anything with anyone, if you wanted me to have access to one of your files to have a look over, you can send me the link and then I can access that through your OneDrive. Um, so all you do, select it and then click download and then your files go straight to your device. Um, if it is that you want to do individual files, obviously you can click and you can highlight and download individual files as well. Um, in this case, obviously, if it's like a PowerPoint or anything like that, you can open it within the apps as well. So like PowerPoint, Word, anything like that will open. Now you know how to use um, the browser version for OneDrive. I just wanted to mention um, that there are app versions that are available um, on PC as well as on a Mac. Now the PC one, anyone that is working on a PC, you'll be used to using OneDrive already. However, those of you that are Mac users, you'll be used to using the iCloud storage. Um, now you can get OneDrive app for a Mac, you can get it from the App Store, but it does have quite a few issues, one of which, the main issue really, is that when you come to open the app, it will ask for your OneDrive to sync to your laptop or your iPad or whatever it is that you're running it off. Um, and that can fill your hard drive up, um, which isn't really what OneDrive is meant to do. It, everything should really be um, in the cloud, in the storage. So if it was me, if you are using a Mac and you still want to use the OneDrive, use it in the browser, don't use the app. Um, however, if you are used to using iCloud and you would really prefer to continue you continue using your iCloud storage, um, you will be able to access iCloud when you're at college. So that's OneDrive. Um, there are more features sort of embedded in it, um, but this is just sort of a basic intro to get you started.